Hello friends, in this video we will learn about how we can edit registry, especially how we can create registry keys using PowerShell. So before we move further, let we be familiar with the registry components in the terms of PowerShell. When we open registry editor, it looks like one we are seeing in screenshot. Hope all of you are familiar with it. In case you are not, then please open registry editor by using command resedit. Same you can see in slide. The components marked with 3 are known as registry key properties or item properties. Items marked with 5 are known as values of registry key properties. Items marked with 4 are known as type of registry key properties that already exist. Items marked with 6 are type of item properties that we need to choose from when creating new item property. Items marked with 7 is known as registry hive or registry path. Registry keys are treated like files and folders in file system. So creation is also same as of files and folders. New hyphen item command is used to create new registry key. In example we can see we are trying to create a registry key with name test underscore key under location specified using path parameter. NI is an alias for this command. Alias help us to reduce code write time and code length itself. In example, we can see the benefit easily. Command has 8 characters but its alias has only 2 characters. Path parameter is used to specify a path where key need to be created. Path may also contain name of items as well and it may contain wildcards as well. In example, we can see in first command we have specified name of key marked in green in path only using path parameter. In second command we have specified key name separately using name parameter. Name parameter is used to specify the key name that we want to create. In this example test underscore key one has been specified using name parameter. Force parameter is used to create intermediate registry keys in case they not exist already. Also force parameter is used to overwrite a registry key that already exist. In example, the intermediate keys that have been specified in path doesn't exist already. But because we are using force parameter, so they will be created automatically in case they don't exist already. Confirm parameter is used to get a confirmation prompt before our registry keys are actually created. In example, we can see a command with confirm parameter. We can see a command output without executing it actually with the use of what if parameter. This parameter is very helpful when we are doing a critical registry edit. In example, we can see a command with what if parameter. Now let's recap. New hyphen item may be used to create new key. Path, name, force, confirm, what if are some of the parameters of this command. 